in the mall. So it's, he's open. He's, he's calling it the Eden Venture Business Park within the old Eden Mall. So it's great to see something that's been sitting vacant since 1993 or four, I think. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's been vacant a long time, and it's good to see uh, again some private investment into making this city a, a good place to work and live. I can't tell you how excited I am uh, that Ron Hutchins and Night Owl uh, have come to town uh, and come to yeah. Eden. And, and as as he may have shared with you, I guess um, he looked at a lot of sites. Um, I know one one big uh, site, and I think he said Mooresville, but a number mm-hmm. of locations all over. Um, uh, you know, not not just here, and chose Eden over all of those, and what he's bringing to this city. Um, this is a national company that does uh, quality work, and he's a real success story himself. In, um, yeah, he, he yeah, aren't, aren't you impressed he, with him? He, yeah, he's yeah. a very neat guy. He, I mean, like you said, he, he's apparently been very successful, and um, he's well-known, and, and he's is still there every day that I've been up there. He's yeah. up there working, <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. doing the construction, trying to get it done. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm impressed with uh with with him and and appreciate the fact that he's going to be creating several a lot of jobs in Eden. I can I think he maybe told me sixty or so. I think is mm-hmm. what the initial plan is, and he'll yeah. expand too. So yeah, he could have gone anywhere. I'm I know, I'm pretty confident he could have gone wherever he wanted to. And um, yeah, we we're thrilled to have another good company base itself here in Eden. Oh, good things happening in our city, that's for sure. Let's uh, let's get an update uh, on the uh, Matrimony Creek Trail because that was uh, pretty uh, extensively discussed at City Council Tuesday night. And let's get your take on that, Mayor, please. Yeah. Um, well, that when that was constructed, it was constructed with a grant from Duke Energy, and uh, it was very well received. There were a lot of people used it. It's nice to have uh, a uh, recreation amenity on the west side of town and i think a lot of people from that area um were appreciative of having a a nice trail to go and walk and be along the creek and it really is nice and i'm I'm sure you've been mike out to the end at the waterfall but it's it's well worth the trip if you hadn't been but unfortunately right now after those uh severe floods we had a couple of months ago it washed out that area of it i think it's about Three quarters of the way would be safe to walk, but uh, we've decided to keep it closed to keep people from uh, being tempted to go the last quarter of a mile where it had been washed out. Uh, There's been numerous uh, considerations for how to repair that, to get it up out of the most severe flood-prone area, that that end of it. And uh, we do want to get it back open because it's, it's such a nice trail and it's you know, we got to figure out the expense of, of doing it and, and what some way to fix it so that we don't have to keep repairing it. But uh, we still have every intention of repairing it and getting it open. It's just trying to, to get approval from different agencies that may require, that may limit what you can do in and around the creek. So we're having to uh, research every option to try to get it open so that you can get back out and see that waterfall. And, and I'm confident we'll get it open. It's just a too nice of a trail and i think that i mean i say this a lot but in the last year and a half we've had three or four rains that are 50 year rains you know i mean just been crazy Mm -hmm. so hopefully we can go another 50 years without one so that would uh, make the repair on the uh, matrimony trail a whole lot uh, more safe so we, we are intending to open that back up and just don't know exactly how to go about doing it yet. Yeah, yeah. There, as uh, as interim city manager Terry Shelton said in the meeting the other night, and this is a quote here: "Lots of moving parts to that." <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, all right. So we'll uh, including including the creek. The yeah. creek moves faster than any of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's gotta, right. Yeah, you got to be respectful of Mother Nature moving the creek. And and one thing Terry mentioned, you know, looking at options, maybe even. Uh, moving that creek, um, rechanneling the water, or maybe moving right, the trailer. Diverting. So, yep. looking at lots of yep. options. Yep, we could divert maybe. But again, that requires some engineering work as well as oh, yeah. uh, um, permission from different agencies to be able to do that. Yeah. Well, uh, Mike Doherty sent the news release out this week uh, about the 
events that um, continue to be canceled in Eden, unfortunately because of the pandemic and shagging on Philcrest and Touch a Truck and uh, Grown and Gathered and River Fest and all of that. So we're we're sorry that those will not happen, but Eden, uh, just like all of the other communities. But uh, we do still have an event um, on the schedule for September. So tell us about that. Yeah, this this is another event that uh, was going to be tied in with Riverfest weekend, and because of its uh, the nature of the event, we're still able to have it in social distance. It's the Great River Race. Um, I know you remember <laughs> when I was a kid. I remember the WLOE Great River Race and all that stuff and yeah. BX and. Yeah, and uh, it got, was a lot of fun. To I've watch. got a lot of pictures uh, of. Uh, I think it was one yeah. in the early '80s. Oh wow, that was so much fun! Yeah, and uh, it's going to be a, a nine o'clock event on September the nineteenth. Put in at that uh, Clyde Street um, landing that we talked about earlier, mm-hmm. and go to the Leakville landing. And their prizes, like cash prizes for finishing uh, in old finishing order. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Build you a your vessel and, and then come out and hopefully the weather will cooperate and we can at least have one fun event this fall. Yeah. Fun on the river. Yeah. Now, are you going to be in the race mayor? I'd like to be. Yeah. I think you I should. Find something to float in. Yeah, <laughs> we ought to try to figure out if we can do a live broadcast going down the river. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. I don't get, know about how your equipment would enjoy that. Get, get, get that IT department <laughs> to work on that. Yeah. <laughs> Gee. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I mentioned, too, the Citizens Academy had to be canceled this fall. It's oh, yeah. a popular um, learning tool for citizens to get to see what goes on behind the scenes in the city. Um, just the social distancing, un- unknown about capacity in different departments. So had to put that off, too. It's just been a, a weird half a year, for sure. It's been crazy for, for lots of lots of people, that's for sure. But uh, uh, I appreciate the, uh, the update on uh, lots of good information here, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. If there's uh, anything else we need to mention, uh, we'll do it. I would, um, two quick things. One, with the, uh, the sewer line repair over uh, Smith River, I would like to point out that we were able to secure funding from the North Carolina General Assembly through a fund they have for water resources and uh, water and sewer resources. And that was a huge help because uh, you get a $310,000 repair that you weren't expecting. It can really put your uh, departments in a, in a bind. So um, I went and met with the general, some members of the General Assembly and uh, Senator Berger, and we were able to get some get, to actually get that entire project funded with, with their grant. So uh, I appreciate the, the state helping us with that and I uh, just wanted to make sure they got thanked and in the recognition and then uh, the last thing would be I, we still need everybody to complete their census form mm-hmm. it's going to affect us for 10 years so we need everybody to be counted it'll help us with funding and, and all sorts of things it's, it's pretty simple now that it's online so please if you haven't done it go and like they say get counted yeah, yeah, lot, lots of things are based on that census uh, that, that happened right here in the county and in our municipalities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah okay. We need, need that. It's pretty simple. Just go online and knock it out. Oh, yeah, it's easy online. A minute, couple minutes or so, and you're done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Go valuable ahead. information, though, we need. Mayor, uh, valuable information from you. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Mike. I enjoy speaking with you. Uh, same here. All the best, and... Uh, I'll see you, I guess, next probably uh, Thursday, and we'll look at that uh, Central Hotel rendering together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be exciting. I'm ready to see it. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Have a good weekend, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye, Mike. Bye. The Mayor of Eden, Neville Hall, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me direct you to the uh, city's website. Good information there, EdenNC.us, and ExploreEdenNC.com as well.